I knew that this famous person calling for us to die was very serious. That was Yusuf Salam, one of the five black and Latino teenagers wrongly convicted of brutally raping a female jogger in New York City in 1989. He was talking about an advertisement that a then up and coming media mogul named Donald Trump took out in four newspapers across New York City, targeting Salam and four others. The teens spent several years behind bars for a crime that they did not commit. Finally, in 2002, the five were exonerated and the city settled a lawsuit with them after the real perpetrator came forward. In 2019, Donald Trump was given the chance to apologize to them. Instead, this is what he had to say. If you look at some of the prosecutors, uh, they think that the city should never have settled that case. Hmm, and now Trump is back at it, slamming Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, calling him an animal. Bragg is the first black Manhattan district attorney. He convened the grand jury that voted to indict Trump. Now, Bragg received at least one death threat among hundreds of others in the form of a package that was mailed to his office containing a note that said, Alvin, I'll kill you. Yusuf Salam, one of the exonerated five, knew that famous person's words mattered then. That famous person, now an ex-president, his words matter now too. Joining me now is my friend and colleague, the great Reverend Al Sharpton. He is the host of Politics Nation here on MSNBC and the founder and president of the National Action Network. Rev, um, you know D.A. Alvin Bragg very well. Can you just maybe walk us through about how he personally has been handling these legitimate threats on his life? He's been very strong. I think, as any of us, he's concerned more about his family. And uh, we've talked about... Yeah, he has young children. Mm. And uh, children, uh, he talked to me about how I'd handled being in controversies for the last many years and how children didn't sign up for public life. And they're now subjected to this not only media uh, maelstrom, but actual threats against their father and could be possibly against him. But I think the thing that uh, people forget is that Donald Trump is talking about uh, Alvin Bragg and being reckless. Alvin Bragg was the same Alvin Bragg a year ago when he took office that stopped the investigation on Donald Trump. So clearly there must be some new evidence and some new factors that made him go forward and go as far as putting this in front of a grand jury who voted to indict Donald Trump. Mm, um, uh, so have you spoken to Bragg since the indictment? I, I've talked to him often. I won't go into when, <laughs> uh, but he he comes to Nash Action Network sometime. Mm -hmm. He uh, uh, is a Harlemite, and we have rallies every Saturday morning. And I talk to him, but not about the case. We never ever get into the uh, case. I have no idea what he's coming with. I just know who's coming, and he's too methodical and careful, in my judgment, to proceed with the case unless he felt it was a case that they could win. You know, Reverend Sharpton, what struck me about uh, this whole, all of these Republicans who are coming to defend Donald Trump saying, you know, this is all politically motivated. It's just a, some people have said this is just a misdemeanor, right? Um, you, you have lived a long life, okay? And you've been a community activist for a while. You were an activist when the exonerated five were wrongly convicted. You rallied on um, their behalf when Donald Trump attacked them in that newspaper. When Donald Trump is arraigned on Tuesday, he is going to be in the same courtroom, same that they building, exoner right. in the same building that the exonerated five were in, in the same courthouse, pardon me, that they're in. How, what is the significance of that? It's very significant because you must remember, Donald Trump had never in the decades that he and I have been out here in New York and nationally taken a position on criminal justice or civil rights in his whole career. Mm. The uh, Howard Beach killings in the 80s all the way to now. The only time he did that was taking out ads calling for the death penalty of these young men. Uh, and, of course, then when he got into politics, he entered on birtherism, saying that uh, Barack Obama was not a real American. So it seems like he only gets involved when it's race against a black. And I, I think, you know, when we were out there, and there wasn't many activist groups, there were some that we didn't even work together, but all of the, the, those groups, we came together around the Exonerated Five. He called us all kinds of names. And this is because these kids said to us, their parents said to us, they were forced into confessions, and they ended up being right. 
Fine. Maybe he got it wrong. Maybe he believed the DA. But when they were exonerated by DNA evidence, you just played the clip. He said it was still wrong mm -hmm. and that he refused to even accept scientific evidence. But now he's asking us to disbelieve an indictment that we have not even heard read yet. We don't know the charges. We have not seen the the, the full evidence. That stuff we'll start to see on Tuesday. Um, of some of the attacks uh, that have been leveled by Donald Trump and his allies against the uh, DA has been specifically about the fact that the DA. They say the DA has declined to take on some lower level charges. Yet they're he's going after Donald Trump. Now I know in January of 2022, uh, once Alvin Bragg took office, he issued a memo. Uh, that talked about the kinds of charges that he would not, uh, they wouldn't go after anymore. Uh, fair jumping. Fair jumping. Are, is that what these attacks are about? What, what he's Explain saying is, uh, what the attacks are is saying uh, that he would not go after certain crimes. He's saying that fair jumping and things like that should not be crowding up the jails. We ought to be putting violent criminals in jail. And some of the uh, crimes that were higher has gone down under Alvin Bragg. Uh, so I, I think that they're just playing games, trying to stoke people's fears. Alvin Bragg has been a prosecutor for a long time. He has a record. He was voted in because of that record. And I think for them to try and say that is, is erroneous. But again, uh, I'm having Michael Cohen on uh, uh, again the next uh, hour in, on Politics Nation following you. Ha Eric Holder is going to be on. Mm. Again, we're talking about a case that we have not even heard yet. We don't know if this is just uh, uh, about Stormy Daniels until Tuesday. So we must see what happens. I can only say there was a song called Stormy Monday, but Tuesday's just as bad. Mm, all right, Reverend Al Sharpton.